quickly move on to the title fights of the evening. Coming up next is the Delhi Dawn himself, Jason Solomon, taking on the dangerous champion, Dharanbek Ergeshaw. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this fight coming up next is the co-main event of the evening, wherein we've got the current MFN welterweight champion, Darhan Beek, with his first title defense against nobody else, the man himself, the showman of yeah. the MMA. <laughs> the showman of MMA, but we quickly wrap this up and go inside for the final introductions with Jared Klein. Ladies and gentlemen, the Delhi Don, Jason Ramesh Solomon! There he is, the Delhi Don, Jason Solomon. Calm and composed as always, ready to put on a show as he always does. You know, he's, he's one of my yo, favorite Delhi fighters. Yo, I, Delhi I, when I start my career as a commentator in mixed martial arts, Jason Solomon was the first dream of the crop who i met. He was this brand talking bad boy of Indian MMA. And we had this attitude, this swagger that nobody else had. It was very similar to what Conor McGregor did in the UFC. And Jason Solomon has come a long way. Then, from being the bad boy of MMA to the Delhi Dawn to taking his training overseas in America to being almost being part of so many shows, being a mentor, being a coach he's come back full circle to MFN 13 tonight We are just going through, he's a real stalwart of Indian MMA or that's the way we He is the real face of Indian MMA Arjun, that's Carl Bele You know the MMA start here and then there was no part of McGregor but then still he had the Delhi Dawn pulling up the prize day in and day out No, but it's, you know, it, it's Conor McGregor peaked around 2013 which is just around then you know, this is from the team he was one of the Jamaica fighters who had the looks and the skills to back it up and he had the crash fucking abilities you look at the way, I've seen Jason fight come this time but the way he moved, he's lanky, he's tall, he's long, he needs that range he needs his reach, he needs to keep his fight outside he needs his pace and stick and move get out of those takedown attempts and just move out of the way like a solid, solid tough fighter he's strong, he's well built and he's going to look to strike that is a Jason Jason needs to get out, move in, move out, stick and move Gentlemen, something that I want to point out is that yesterday Jason said that this fight is not going to go beyond the second round. It means that either he's going to kill Urgeshop or get killed by Urgeshop. Either ways, he's ready for both. I mean, that's his attitude, you know, that's always been his attitude. It's always been the way he fights. You never see a boring fight out of Jason Solomon. So I'm not trying to him out here because I'm just saying he's got his wrong to the He's got to make sure he's made mistakes in the past. But that's what makes him run and he agrees to accept the fact that he's come full circle. This is his moment because he feels this is his redemption. This is, is a new beginning for Jason. And we have seen many fighters restart their careers after a long hiatus. This is indeed Jason Solomon 2.0. But Arjun, for a man who's never gone beyond the second round, we have and Jared And his opponent making his way to the cage, Barkhan Beck Ergishov. Let's welcome MFN's welterweight champion, Darhan Argeshov. Darhan defeated Seth Rosario at MFN 11 and backed the belt to his name. And tonight is his first title defense here at Midrash. Sunday morning, Not only beat Seth Rosario, he absolutely demolished him with a unanimous decision from all three judges, scoring about 50-45 points. Not wrong. Not wrong. I remember seeing that fight, it was pretty awesome. The way, but the way, what impressed me about the Hanbeg Ergeshwab was the way he kept his calm, his composure. He keeps his range, he keeps, he lands beautiful jabs, beautiful low kicks, body kicks, knows how to chain his wrestling and his striking together effectively enough to stifle his opponents. And Seth Rosario is, is an amazing, amazing fighter. I've seen him do this so many times, but it's just, it, it, he, he got stifled against. Ergeshaw. So it's going to be interesting to see what strategy Jason uses. 
और और एक बहुत ही अच्छी बात है कि जब ये लास्ट टाइम एम एफ एन का टाइटल जीत के अपने घर किर्गिस्तान गए थे तो इनके देशवासियों ने इनका स्वागत किया और इनको तोहफे में एक घोड़ा दिया to the final introductions with Jared Kyle. Before that, we do have the tail of the tape. We have Jason Solomon, who is significantly older than our champion, 38 years of age versus 27. Both of them stand at the same height, weight. Uh, Jason seems to be a bit uh, thinner. You know, no, the thing is that Jason Jason is, far, is looking in great shape. He's also lanky. He's got a good reach advantage. And I think that's going to be the differentiator. Let's quickly go to Jared inside the case. for some bone crushing rear naked choking action as this is the co-main event of the evening this fight is scheduled for five rounds in the welterweight division and is for the mfn welterweight title first we introduce the challenger fighting out of the blue corner he stands six feet two inches tall he weighed it at 74.85 kilograms representing the capital city new delhi the fearless renegade of indian mma make some noise for the delhi don jason solomon Fighting out of the red corner, introducing the champion. He stands six feet tall, weighed in at 77 kilograms, representing Kyrgyzstan, the reigning, defending MFN welterweight champion of the world, Dark Hanback Ergashov. Ladies and gentlemen, as the action begins, the referee for the fight, Jim Perdias. Gentlemen, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Touch gloves. Step back. Let's do it. Well, the heart of Indian MMA representing the heart of the nation, New Delhi. He is the Delhi Don versus their Hamba Ergashov. Kill or get killed. This is what Jason told us yesterday at the presser, <laughs> and he's all in for this. This, this action, this bout is going to be really action-packed. Uh, you know, he's got a smile on his face, and as, as opposed to Ergashov, he's so serious and so stoic. But that's what Jason's half of Jason's game is. It's a mind game. He's going to play some mental games, Absolutely. trying to get Ergashov to step off, step out of his comfort zone. He's trying to get Ergashov to abandon his game plan, get reckless, make mistakes. And you can see Jason is circling well, he's circling out, but he needs to be careful of the power of Ergashov, especially early on while they're still fresh. You know, mixed martial arts is not only a physical sport, it's a big mental sport as well. Very nice spinning back kick by Ergashov. Both fighters feeling each other out now, but Jason he should be looking to get his back off the fence. Ergashov does a very good job of 
of using forward pressure, especially early on, to, to cut the cage off. Well, I think it's, it's safer to say that Jason is a very mysterious fighter. You don't know oh. what's going on in his mind and here and he eats. Oh, he needs to be careful. Oh. He's eating some shots here right now. He needs to keep his, his bits about him. Jason looking to land a counter there. And Ergashov though, just stalking him right now. He's doing a great job of cutting him off. He's not following Jason. He's cutting him off. We're nearly 80 seconds in that Ergashov has not given up center control of the cage. Ooh. Nice right hand by Ergashov. He's managing to right that hand that on the hold for that right hand. Over and over again. Jason needs to perhaps start circling to his right. To his right hand side, away from that power left. Power right to Ergashov. He's circling right into that right hand. Jason is trying to push. And look at Garner. Jason. Jason is talking trash now. He's trying to get him to shoot and come forward. And pop boom straight to the mat. But yeah. this is Jason's world. I've seen Jason from this position. You know, scramble and look for better position. So maybe this is him trying to bait him in. Well, even at the last fight that he had at Matrix Fight Night, that was at MFN 5 against Ravinder Balhara, and he did the exact same thing and, and pulled the triangle choke on Ravinder Balhara. No, but that's the thing. The, the difference in opponent is significant. That showed him that he uses this policy here. He's sneaky. He's got pockets of power when he uses it at the right moment. He used that scramble beautifully, but look at that. Butterfly guard, underhook, the butterfly guard switches him over and Ergashal is in mount position now. Now it becomes different to see what kind of defense he employs here. Oh, 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 oh look at that. I'm not a test. Oh, oh, Jason, 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 I don't know, we need to take a look at the replay of that because he was scrambling for an armbar, Jason reversed and it got stuck in his Kimura position which may have, you know, cramped a certain, you know, you never know, the human body is mysterious, just take a Let's look check at it out. Look, he's pulling for the armbar, he's crossed over, Jason counters but that arm and gets trapped. And that's where he taps, that's where he taps. No, that, that's, that arm gets trapped in a very weird manner because it's just gotten folded there. So I think his shoulder may have popped, his elbow may have popped, see that? See that it's like it's almost at a at an omoplata position there, without the without the without the hip being over the shoulder. It's just been he's got cracked in a weird position, and I hope the doctors check on what happened well, to him. Well, gentlemen, MFN's first ever title defense, not first ever. Uh, this would be the second one. I think the first one is Pooja Toma, but this has been a complete success for Darhan Ben Urgashov, who defends his title in the very first round. I, yeah, you know, the, I, it's, it's just a great thing. It's such a great performance by Ergashov. But let's go inside the cage for the final result. Ladies and gentlemen, Rev Jim Purdy has called the stop to the fight after 2 minutes and 26 seconds of round 1. Declaring the winner, submission by the Kimura, and still the MFN Walter Wright Champion of the World, Darkon Beck Bergeshaw. the music brother you took the fight last minute you were just explosive you were calm yesterday in the press conference all the action over here fantastic it looked like it was nothing namaste india assalamu alaikum la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah you know when i take this fight uh, of course i respect him but uh, i believe uh, how say? I promise myself, if I want a big fight, UFC, Bellator, one else, I need uh, this guy finishing first round because I am ready for big, big fight. I train very hard. How does this feel on the shoulder every time? You know, it's always about the gold. When you get the gold, 
has it sunk in that this is yours once again? Oh, this one very good, bro. You know how many people in my country waiting for this belt, you know? In my family, my father, mother, all Kyrgyzstan people. Maybe you check also my Instagram, how many people waiting this one, you know? Instagram, it is going to be, brother, the champion in the gold main event, ladies and gentlemen. Big round of applause. You want to say something? Thank you, India. Thank you, Afghani guy. Here, a lot of guys from Afghanistan. Thank you. Your support. Thank you very much. Milano, come. Bratan, you know, uh, you know, uh, I, I working in Dubai. Uh, I have no time, any time training, you know, sometime work. Dubai is a very expensive country. Then one guy half every day, every time giving uh, support me, every day giving motivation. This guy, Milano, this is your belt. Take. Take. This is your belt. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, our team 971. All guys. Assalamu alaikum, Kyrgyzelim, Barangzarga, Chong Rahmat, Brinchidan Alatala, Chesh Ulur Bosun, Ateneme, Birtuandarma, Bardanzara, Chong Rahmat, Dostorma, Alarma. Alhamdulillah, şu sporda başlaganda e, sevkir bulgun, muha muha bıratan, envu, sizge çok rahmat almaz ki, iyi Ruslan bıratan çok rahmat sizge. Can I speak a little bit my language? Cigitler, e, Kırgızda göptegen, küçük ballar var, e, küçük talentlar var, bırak surap kesinlerim ne oldu zeng? E, Aytat, sponsorum çok, paydaşkam çok. Sponsorum olgunda bunda ağlatılayım, anda ağlandıp Cigitler Aytayn Ben de şu kariyeran baştağından beri Nöldön gel tam, bir de paydaş gazı yok Bro, alhamdulillah Allah'a işe enip, Atene üstünün duazını alıp Anan öz üstüne çok niyet kılsak Akırından oşol e, Selderge jet öğretken biz, oşoğa hiç uaqta e, Hümetin ördü Üspö gülü, tolka aldık, hareket kılır eyle Bu boyga kanday kıyın aldım Öte ögüp kıyınçılık oldu, bürcü mamurun Ortman turalba girip olup kaldım Şu Allah talanında karap üretken de Bulcanan kıyın alsam, cengin olarak saperlik verip, elhamdülillah. Thank you India, thank you MFM team, thank you Kruşa, thank you mom, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you brother, thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're leading up to the big one. Over to the comms and then I want lights out.